Okay, so as I've uh, talked about in several videos, I'm doing kind of a new series where I show you hoverboard parts and we go one by one and basically show you every part in a hoverboard from, you know, the headlights to the power light indicators uh, to the gyroscopes, etc. So today we're focusing on the frame. Uh, the frame is obviously the base of the board. It's the metal piece in there. Um, these things do break. I've seen them break in a couple of ways. Uh, the first way that these break is sometimes they just snap in half right at the welds. Um, you know, it's not the best quality metal. It's just aluminum. It's not necessarily always welded properly. So I have seen them crack. It is pretty hard to break these. I mean, unless you're trying to do tricks or jump on them, they're most likely not going to break. Uh, the last broken one I saw, the guy was drunk on New Year's Eve and tried to jump off like five stairs and land on his board. Uh, so no surprise the thing broke. The other area where I've seen them break where it's probably more common is, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to... So if you guys can see inside of there, there's a pin. And this basically keeps the board from over -rot rotating. If this pin cracked, this thing would literally do 360s and you wouldn't be able to ride it. Uh, but the frames are one of the pieces that can go bad, obviously. Um, I don't know if you guys know how a frame works. Sometimes I like to show you how the, all the parts kind of interact with one another. So this is where the foot pedal sits. Um, when you step on it, this basically presses the, you've probably heard of the nipples, this presses the nipple, and that's what lets it know whether you want to go frontwards or backwards, etc. Uh, a common problem with these foot pads I've talked about is the air pockets that can form them in, in them. You can cut a little hole right there, let some of the air release, and that often solves that problem. But in terms of fixing a cracked frame, it's really not a difficult fix, it's just a time-consuming fix, because essentially everything else on your board is still good but the frame. So when you crack the frame, you essentially have to disassemble your entire old board, rebuild it around this new frame here. More likely than not, if your frame cracks, your shell's probably cracked, so you may need a new shell as well. But assuming the frame is just cracked, I mean, it's really just a matter of disassembling your old board and reassembling it around this frame. So, um, you know, hopefully that, uh, you know, uh, sorry, I got a phone call coming in. I guess it's kind of sidetracked, but... Like I said, this is the frame. Uh, I've mentioned some of these other videos. I was given these parts for free by HoverboardScooterParts.com. Uh, if you're looking for parts, all the parts I've shown, you can pick up from them. If you are a, if you sell hoverboards, if you sell hoverboard parts, etc., and you want me to feature your products on the channel or let people know about you as a company or whatever, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.